Okay, yep, yeah, we're gonna go open up the War Table mission for Durthamon's Temple. Trying to get Venatori stuff done and Elven stuff done with Talon. I feel like his playthrough has gone on for a very long time. But I'm not sick of it. And I want to give him his due. Let's see, like, look like, look at these Tevinter dragon statues. And, like, when you walk in, like, ah, like, spiky stuff everywhere. The red and the black. I love the floors. They look fantastic. Like... I wonder, can you, like, re... I know for sometimes, if you get certain decors out, you can see, like, there's, like, things you can read. I don't know. And whatever the freak this is, like, uh, it's just sitting here, taking up space. Like, I don't know, it's cool looking, though. Ooh, you like, you like the stubble, the stubble, Dorian? Uh, he looks more sleazy. <laughs> Store things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you guys are keeping me. Talon is very handsome. Thank you, Lavellan. <laughs> You're Lavellan too. <laughs> I don't have banners. I thought I had banners. Were there none hanging up there? Like at the... I had banners. Where's I think I have the Inquisition banner. Or no, is it the Dalish one? It's supposed to be the Dalish one. Do I want to do something different, though? I actually really like the Frostback Basin banner. Let's do that one for a bit. Frostback Basin one's very, like, bam, in your face. Store things, store things. We're related, didn't you know? <laughs> Thank you. I sometimes toot my own horn with with uh, with Talon because I just think he's the most gorgeous man thing I've ever created in my life. <laughs> ah, he's gorgeous. La 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 la. No, nothing in there that I want to store. Do ah. Want to deposit that and uh we're gonna sell that all right let's sell things really quick and then sell oh and i should well maybe i should go maybe i'll go through everybody really quick the south kokari the sunless lands yes 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 research I res research items that's right that's right you guys you guys are keeping me on track keeping me on track that's not good. Okay. Cassandra. Ooh. Oh, wait, no. That's the wrong one. Okay. Cassandra. The only other one is... Blackwall. Oh. Really? Oh, interesting. I have the pirate captain cut this. Ooh. Uh, really quick. Let's get Sarah with a bow. Oh, I'll give you that one. Toss it. Oh, and I need to check black wall for shields. Man, these shields are cool. I think I'll give him that one for now, and I'll store that one. Uh... You don't like the shape of the... Oh my gosh. I do not blame you. You don't like the shape of the male head. I do... I don't either. I don't. The elven male always... is. He's, he is effeminate. Uh, elf feminine. Exactly. Elf feminine. And like, it just... I don't know what is he. Um, what I really can't stand about the elf male, which is not a problem with the elf female, is the posture. The elven female has a posture in cutscenes that I just abhor. I don't like it. It's ridiculous. She looks like a man. She's like walking like she's been riding a horse for her whole life. 
but she doesn't do that regularly. She walks like a dancer, but when she's in cutscenes, she walks like a man. But the one thing I hate about the male physique is that the arms are sucked into the chest cavity. The problem is the chest is a cavity. The chest isn't even like there for the man. It's like it's like it's like hunched in. He's like hunched in on himself, and his arms get sucked into his cavity. It would be good if they opened up another landmass, like in, like in Skyrim, if they opened up. Yes. And the Kunari, yeah, where I mean the Kunari are in Parvola right now, but they came from somewhere. Maybe we'll learn more about the Kunari in the next one, as well as Tevinter. <sighs> Let's see. I'm trying to think. What was the? I guess none of the DLC for Origins or Dragon Age 2 really hinted at what was coming in the next game. So I don't know if any of the DLC for Inquisition will hint at what comes in the next game, but the town that they put the dagger next to on the map at the very end of Trespasser, the town that the dagger is next to is called Solus. You know, like, and I noticed it immediately the first time I played Trespasser, which I've only actually played it once, but I know as soon as I threw the dagger down, the word Solus is right there, and I was like, Frick it egg! And there was like, he said he came from a small town to the north. I think Solus might have come from that town. I think we're going to try to find out more information about Solus, and that's going to help. That town, that little town is going to help us out. But as long as you can play your Canary Mages, oh man. The, if, once they gave us the Canary, they can't take it away again. I mean, I understand. You never noticed that, really? Yeah, no, they throw the dagger down. They, they put it next to Venter is in big letters above the dagger when they throw the dagger down, but there's a little tiny town to the side that says Solus. And I was like, OMG! OMG! We are going to go find out more about my boyfriend. We're going to go find his hometown, and we're going to freaking... We're going to... Dang them! Let's see. Nope, none of those are good. Oh, too bad. Slayer looks cool. Whoa, Slayer looks way cool. It's not as good because it, this is like a tier 4 thing. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, we're going into Venter because um, the Canari are going to invade. Also, Tevinter wasn't always Tevinter. I'm sure the town Solus was actually originally an elven settlement. Um, but, and that does, that indicates that per, well, I don't know. I don't know where exactly Arlathan was. I sort of, built, I personally kind of think that, that um, Minrathus was built on the ruins of Arlathan. But I could be wrong. The Tevinter, the people had to come from somewhere, right? They had to have a power base somewhere to challenge the elves, even in their fallen state. So, I don't know. Looks like we've gotten rid of most of the weapons we don't need. Let's see. Let's see, we'll give maybe Sarah. Ah, Sarah, you look so cute. Ah, Sarah, you look so good in that. I have it, jeez. Sarah, I think, oh my gosh. Sarah's outfits are the best. Hands down, Sarah's armor looks the best, always. Not very good at hiding, is he? First rule, don't name a town after yourself. I think, actually, the town came first. <laughs> but yes. The Inquisitor resolves to find people he doesn't know, then proceeds to stab a dagger through the Tevinter Imperium portion of the war map next to the settlement, Solus. Make sure you check if they have runes, because sometimes you're comparing things with runes and then things without. Aha! Prowler coat arms. Oh, that's the one I made for Solus, though. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, every now and then, I'll notice that with like the with like the weapons. But I do try to look at the at the base, um, like the AOE damage. As opposed to like, um, like just the big number, like the 304 DPS. I look, I tend to look more at the number, the 237 AOE damage type thing. I tend to look more at that. But, that does have more damage versus the living. But, I mean, it doesn't, overall, it doesn't. 
And I do, I tend to prefer things with better, with better unique stats. But yeah, that's almost a hundred difference right there. Oh yeah, the solos part, I don't know, it just, it was in little tiny letters, but because I romanced him, I just, it was, bloop, like I just know, you see it and you're like, <sighs> and he mentions he came from a town to the north, a small town to the north. And I'm betting that he, well, and it seems weird to name your kid after your town, but I kind of feel like he was, I mean, it's Pride, basically. And I assume that when he was named Pride, he was because he was the, the apple of his parents' eyes type thing, you know, or what, or even, if, I don't know, was he born from a mommy to elf and a daddy elf? Maybe he was actually a spirit, and he just took the name of the town that he, like, was in, that he happened to, because Mythal, basically, we get, we get hints and trespasser that Mythal asks him to take a physical form, and he does, at her behest. Um, so she, he was, like, the pride of Mythal, perhaps. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's crazy cool stuff, though. I'm looking forward to getting little tiny explanations. Oh, let's see what Sarah looks like with the stone stalker mask on. Ah, uh, Sarah looks so cool with it on! I'm gonna give it to Sarah. I think she looks really, really bad, eh, with that on. Uh, Sarah, hands down, has the best-looking armor! I get so jealous! I do. I get really freaking jealous. I do, I do. Alright, that one's not as good. No, that one's boring. And that was not as good. Battle Mage. Oh, I think the only one we were missing was... Vivian. Didn't Solus... Well, because, like... Because Solus slept for, like, I don't know, well, like 2,000 years. But that was later. I think he took a physical form back when he was... Maybe he didn't. Maybe he was in a spirit form when he was Fen Harel, and he only took physical form after the Fade... The after the after the Fade was created. That's an interesting idea. Maybe it, when the Veil was created, Solos was sort of forced to take a physical form. Um, and then he slept. That's when he slept. After the Fade was created, after the Veil was created, the Fade was separated from reality. That's when he slept. Where is... Didn't... Did I know it? I think... I think I put Dread in the chest, actually. I do have it. I just think I give... Oh my gosh, Vivian! Here, have it. Have it. You look great. <laughs> wow. I'm gonna store this one because I need to remember... I really like those colors on Dorian. So the reinforced battle mage mail I need to store. Oh, Dorian, you look so good in that. Dorian, you look good in that too, Dorian. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna store these two. Weren't they just, well, that's the thing is like, the, the, you, Cole tells you in Trespasser that um, Mythal, like you hear you hear Cole talking as you pass by, and he basically indicates that Mythal, because Solo said that the spirits and the elves were like they just they intermixed back and before the before the veil was created, like there was no differentiation basically, like they just they I mean there was they were two distinct peoples, but they interacted like mutually, um, but. And, like, magic was, like, breathing, you know? And, like, the spirits were there, like, living creatures, you know? And and it's indicated that Solus took a physical form because myth... Because it says myth all... Like, like, something like she asked him to... She asked him to join him or something. Like, the way Cole speaks, he's like... Basically, she says something like, like, take a physical form at his behest... At her behest. And he did. And I remember the line specifically says... He left a scar when he burned her off his face. That's I think that's indicating that he had to he burned the mark off of his face. Perhaps when she died, perhaps when he found out like he I think cuz he probably kept it until she died and that's when he went into full rebellion mode. 
and then he just he refused to have anything to do with the rest of the gods and burned the mark off of her off of his face. But yeah, no, uh, it, it, it's indicated that in some ways, perhaps Solus was once, at least that he could, he could be a spirit and a physical form. Kind of like Cole-ish, sort of? I don't know. There's, there's a lot of lore kind of floating around. I don't, where is Dread? I know I picked it up. I might have accidentally sold it. <laughs> I'm the worst. I need to. S oh yeah! Look at that helmet. It looks so good. Dread. There it is. Okay, storage. We're in storage now. Okay, there's Dread. That's in. Uh, right. I was looking in weapons. Duh. Um. Uh, reinforced prop battle mage. And battle mage. Or that one? I don't know. Nah. Let's sell some things. Okay, made some room. Oh yes, it's when you walk past when he's when he's standing outside the um the tavern, right? If you walk past him, I think actually if you poke him and try to talk with him, he'll just he'll start spouting this stuff off. And it like when I first played, I was like, holy crap, like he is talking about Solus, and it makes a lot of sense because Solus isn't there, and Cole basically is like, you know, I've tried to talk to him, and I, he won't let me. I can't find him. He keeps hiding himself. What do you think about the theories that Solus and Shartan can be the same person? I'm curious. I'm not, I'm not thinking that they're false by any means. Uh, they definitely look the same. I don't know if that's just, you know, they were reusing sort of a figure... A lot, most of the elven statues are bald with pointy ears, like very, I don't think any of them really have hair, you know. Oh, does it only happen if he's a spirit coal? It might actually only happen if he's a spirit coal. Because he does say that he's trying to go and interact with Solus, but Solus keeps kind of blocking him. And it's, it's basically all the hints you get of Solus throughout Trespasser until the end. Right, why would the settlement be called Solus? He was, I think he was originally, he was born Solus. But I don't know, I don't know if he was born Solus or not. Maybe he was born something else. I don't even know if he was actually physically born. I mean, he might have been a spirit first. And just took physical form kind of like Cole did. But, um, why do I have gray things stored? I don't know. I don't know what gray things are. Gray things, gray things. Mm. Oh, like that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think they were like a really high, like, yeah. You had to be like level 18 to use those things. Let's see. Uh, I'll take a, I'll take some of those back and see if they're any good. I stored those on purpose. That I just kind of put there. That I didn't want to wear. That was cool. And that was cool. <laughs> Kitty's collar. Woohoo! In the inventory. Um, I have two rings of staggering. Holy crap. Yeah, I need to use some runes. How is Cole in this Let's Play? Still haven't caught up. I did. I made him. <laughs> Cheers. Why are you? You too. <laughs> Cole is more human. Yep. Frog Raider is correct. I, because I made him more spirit last time, so I thought I'd go the more human route this time and see how it goes and I'm 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 legitimately really torn is the wolf jaw around Solus's neck a sneaky aesthetic I think it's a sneaky aesthetic because in trespasser he is not wearing it it you could freak it I know you notice that like he is not 
wearing it. And I sort of choose to believe that he left it behind when he left and that Myla Velen has it. And she can't wear it, but she has it. <laughs> that is my... Per and I think they might have taken it off Solas specifically to sort of allow that sort of headcanon. That's what I'm going to say anyway. Iron Bull. Nope, these are not as good. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and let me maybe sell, maybe not the melee defense one, but the staggering. Yeah, I'll sell one of those. You agree? What a weird romance I don't leave her. No, it's what he wore all the time. <laughs> and once she figures out what it is, I mean, I don't know. Will she still keep it or not? I actually commissioned a piece of, um, an art piece, basically, of my Erica Lavellan post-trespasser in the concept armor. Um, it's a riddle, love. You'll get it eventually. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. It's, uh, if he did that, I'd be so mad. Um, but I have a commissioned piece of my Lavellan in some concept armor from the, from the art book. And around her neck, I have the uh, wolf jaw necklace. So, that's, I, I decided that she's going to keep it while he's gone. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, oh, yes. I need to check everybody's accessories. What do I, I have the master belt of focus, superb ring of guard penetration, and attack. Friggin' no, give me critical damage. Oh wait, um... Yeah, no, give me critical damage. Um... And then... Oh, I think I gave the superb... Ooh, should I get... Dexterity? No. Yeah, when the stream's over, you're going to play Inquisition Rock Raider. I know, man. You just, there's just, there's so much to freaking, every time you play this game, you just got to play this game all the time, 24-7. There just needs to be a constant, constant playing of this game. What do you have on? Oh, yeah, the Enhanced Belt of Urgency. I do actually like that for a reverse, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep him with it. Superb ring of sundry. What do I have Cassandra on? Armor penetration and guard penetration. I do like that. Iron bowl. We'll give you staggering and sundering. Why not? Very... Oh wait, I'm only looking at rings like right now. What kind of... Oh here, have the dexterity one. Uh... <laughs> Pick up your soulless romance. Heck yeah, dude. It really is, It's if nothing else, it's informative. Because it's nice to know... Oh man, I know... Oh my gosh, that, oh my gosh. You know what kills me about this picture that you, that you've linked is that for one, I mean, we got the girl here who's panicked and is doing, starting to do blood magic and allow possession. But we have also this woman over here running with her baby because as a circle mage, you are not allowed to have your children. Your children get taken away from you as soon as they're born. And that in infuriates me that you can't even raise your own child. I mean, I, I just, it, oh, it makes me so angry. It makes me, oh my gosh. If you can find the concept art for the uh, armor for the elf, like there's like, it's like kind of shows you some armor um, for like all the species, like the concept art for the elf is what I have my commissioned piece, my Erica is wearing. 
It looks like a still from a film. It does. It really does. Like some, there's one that I really love in the in the art book, and it's a picture of an elven mage, like a keeper. I'm pretty sure some sort of keeper or something, and she's basically like she's losing it or something. She's like she's walking forward. It looks like she has like these tear stains on her face. And she's walking forward, like, her hands kind of out to the side. And her clothes are, like, blowing up and, like, like blowing to the side and stuff. And it's, like, all red and orange and yellow. And she looks like a, like a vengeance goddess. The pure desperation of that mage. Yeah, like, and you, like, her eyes just, like, eh, like, oh, my gosh. Well, and, like, the guy who's trying to save them, like, he's, like, throwing the fire down and, like, trying to defend them to give everybody else a chance to go. And they're intense. Like, look at them. Like, they're intense, just trying to, like, live on their own. And none of them would have resorted to blood magic if the Templars hadn't come and were like, let us stand on the hill and look like we're intimidating. Like, just makes me mad. Just sort of the things, the things that, that happen that shouldn't. Um, hmm. Give Varric a better belt. Didn't I? I think I just, I might have. I think my chat moves kind of slow. Enhance grenade, but, oh, okay. Uh, melee defense? As a rogue? That might be nice. Yeah, we'll toss that. And then coal, I think. Oh, we have the belt of urgency too. I do like that, but I... Uh, maybe a heal bonus? No, melee defense. We'll give him melee defense too. No, wait, no, no, no. I think I want to give that to Dory. Oh, he does have it. All right, all right. Roma, welcome! <laughs> I'm so glad you could make it. You did, mate. Well, okay. So here's the thing: we just basically spent like an hour and a half getting the scattered glyphs from the exalted plains, talking about how excited we are for Tevinter in the next game, and looking at really cool Tevinter concept art and other cool concept art. Ember's been finding some cool concept art stuff online and linking them in. Uh, yep, yep, we're prepping for the temple because I have so much crap in my inventory. <laughs> Welcome to Inventory 101. Don't do what I do. <laughs> uh, I do want to keep, I want him to still have the walking bomb one. That one's, that one's cool. Constitution. Okay, and then, did, we, did I, did I check out what solaces were? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, yes, and he has the belt of focus. Roma's here. Breaking. Um, where's Ronland? I need Ronland to tell me about their... I can't remember what they said their... Uh, Instagram was, because I wanted to check out the cosplay stuff that they have. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll check, I'll check in, if this is the one. No, not that, this is a human. Um, but I do like this one. This is cool. They're, but the elf one, oh, man. Oh, boy, she just, I mean, it's, she looks like an, she looks like a goddess of vengeance. Like, that one looks like a rage goddess. The other one is almost in more control, but, like, sorrow like i don't it, it's oh i don't know i could i could go i have the art book back there i could go like look at it and point at it but you guys won't see it <laughs> it's really cool though oh vivian you need some better things but i don't take you out vivian so cole oh cole cole do i want to give cole melee defense or healing or a tonic's belt. Oh, shoot. That's the thing is, I, I'm like, yeah, about the tonic's belt. I don't know. 
You just collect, dude. Mass Effect One is the worst for inventory. Like you can get so much crap in there, and then like you're like, wait a second, and like you're like, no, no. Black wall. Excuse me. Uh, want that one? No. They had that one instead. And we'll leave you with Warhorn. Ring of Sundering. Amulet of the Second Wind. Oh. You are very OCD about inventory. You're always storing and selling things. Very cutthroat, Lemon Z. I know, I was really bad at the beginning. There was one person who was specifically was like, just use the sell all button. And I was like, no. Because at the time, when you first play Inquisition, all of your um, creature research items and like some quest items would get thrown into your valuables. And if you... If you don't, like, you you would sell things sometimes, and, like, you, you had to be really careful, and it was it was kind of aggravating. No, that one. <laughs> I sound like my mom. I do, don't I? <laughs> That's funny. All right. Wait, did I? No, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay, and now I'm going to... See, usually when I get down to half, I'm like, okay, good, I'm at half. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything else. Let me check and see maybe if there's any potions -y things I can do. I could probably... Shoot, Embryum. I need more Embryum? For reals? Eh, I don't know about that one. Tonics. I got that one done. Grenade. Confusion grenade. Let's see. Nope, confusion grenade's done. That's right. I did a bunch of these, so I'm not surprised. I'd love to get the shockwave, though. How was the Witcher stream yesterday? It was good. It was short. I got really tired, and it didn't seem to be, like, a really ideal time anyway. Um, I don't know. But, uh, I, I, I felt kind of weird, because I don't know a lot about... Witcher, and so like I can't be like you know, oh yeah, like I, I don't know like with with um with Inquisition I can be like oh yes let's talk about this and that for like hours on end, but with Witcher I couldn't do that <laughs> really. What you saw was yeah, but like I didn't go much further, Larry. Honestly, oh my, I'm trying to pop my neck. Oh my gosh, my neck is not popping. Jar of bees, that's right. Where did jar of bees go? I love jar of bees. 